Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today is just going to be a real quick video. I saw a post on the 1911 subreddit a few days ago about a guy who wanted to modify his 9mm 1911 to be able to uh, be a 45. Now, when I first read that, I thought there's no way you'd do that because it'd be either A, impossible, or B, way too expensive. But instead of just having my automatic gut reaction, I thought I'd actually take a look at my 1911 since I happen to have one that is in 45 and one that is in 9mm. And these guns are as about as close as two guns can be. This, they're both made by Arms Corps. This just happens to be a Rock Island. This is a Citadel. This is the Toyota Matrix. And this is a Pontiac Vibe. They're the same vehicle, just slightly different uh, names and badges on there. Um, both come out of the same factory, basically. So, like I said, I want to go through a few of the differences and then kind of give my opinion on if you'd actually want to do this or if you would just spend more money than you would buying a replacement gun. So anyways, take a look on here. First thing, we'll look at the slides. They're very, very similar. They both slide onto each frame up until where they hit the extractor, or not the extractor, the uh, ejector. ejector. Um, so I'm gonna mix those two up because uh, they, end up doing the same thing. Anyways, um, they slide on, but the biggest difference is where the casing actually rests up against where the firing pin is. I forget, I don't know if this has an official name there, but um, I guess the, the block, but whatever. Um, on the nine millimeter, obviously it's narrower here and this opening is narrower because it's a smaller casing than a 45. And that probably could be machined. The extractor does sit further inward, it looks like. And so I think, you probably just replace a spring or something like that and you probably even use that same extractor and just machine this opening wider but if you're going to go that far it'd probably end up being cheaper just to buy a different slide that actually fits correctly uh, barrels look at those next obviously you'd have to get a new barrel since a nine millimeter is significantly smaller than a 45 uh, so you'd have to get a new barrel biggest thing that you'll notice on these is the feed ramps um the nine millimeter has this really big extended feed ramp compared to the 45 just has this lip here. And we'll, that plays a bigger important uh, factor in the frames, which we'll go to that in just a second. But otherwise they're, they are the same. So um, just take the 45, put it into the nine millimeter and it doesn't go back obviously because this is too narrow here. So that's where you would have to have a machined um, Machining done or a new slide. All right, next thing we're gonna look at is the magazine. So we have a 45, this is the frame for the nine millimeter and it does fit. So you can use this frame as far as the magazine well, you won't have to do any modifications there. And then obviously the nine millimeter has no problems in the 45. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is the frame itself. The uh, ejector, obviously you'd have to replace the ejector. Uh, they, they're in a different location and the nine millimeter is longer. See that there. And then the big thing that I noticed is here, I believe these are forged parts. And so you'd have to add a lot of material to the nine millimeter to have it match the 45. And I just don't know if that's something I'd be willing to do um, and trust and have it be reliable. You'd have to have somebody who really knows what they're doing to add the material, have it not be a fail point and have it be something that would actually feed the rounds into the chamber. So that's a lot of effort for the frame. Uh, personally, looking at this, you're going to have to buy a new barrel. You're going to have to buy a new recoil spring. You're going to have to probably buy a new slide and you're going to have to do a lot of machining to the frame to add the material and then, um, you know, have it be a feed ramp that's reliable and not causes uh, jams, other failure to feed issues. So, I don't know. It's not something I personally would do. It's something I would avoid doing. I would just buy the correct caliber that I wanted in the firearm. I mean, that's what I did. I wanted a nine millimeter because it's just pre-COVID was cheaper to ha to fire um, nine millimeter still is. Uh, it's also easier to get ammo for a nine millimeter than it's been to get for a 45. So 
Um, that's why I wanted a nine millimeter just so I could have one that was, I could get ammo for uh, more easily and cheaper. So anyways, um, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.